Hi everybody, um, I'm just gonna make a little um, haul video today. I know I keep doing hauls, so this weekend, like I promised, I will take out my real camera, which is on my shelf back there, and I will film a video because I realize now how I can upload to my computer, so it would be all great. So I will make videos, um, a tutorial. I'm probably gonna make an outfit of the day on Friday because I'm going to a party at night to take pictures for my photography for the people they asked me to so I will be doing that so then I'm thinking about maybe after work on Saturday or Sunday depending on my schedule I haven't found out yet that I will make a video and I will post it on the tutorial and maybe some of the new makeup products that I actually purchased today so I will show you it's not a lot I have like two face products um I know I keep looking here so I'm gonna look up there two face products a spray some nail polish and some beauty products okay so please stay tuned and also I'd like to thank everyone I actually reached over 40 views on one of my videos and I really really appreciate that especially starting out that's amazing like even getting five views or two thank you all so much okay have a great day and please stay tuned if you like Mwah. sorry well I was waiting my friend texting me telling me my room looks like a mess in my videos so I fixed that and just block things off. I will be doing this. My videos from now on downstairs. I'm just making videos like 11 o'clock at night. So yeah. Okay. So the first thing I want to talk about is the St. Ives Natural Clear Apricot Scrub. 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 Oh, scrub. Blemish and blackhead control. It looks like this. It's a big tube. And when you open it, it looks like this. It's like creamy. It smells so good. I actually, like I've said, if you hear my phone going off, I'm sorry. I've purchased um, the little tubes, like the regular face wash tubes, and honestly, I think for the price of this is so much better, and you can apply as much as you want, and it's an exfoliator, and it's really good, and also apricots, like I said in my other video, is that, sorry, is that, they are really good for your skin, it makes you look very dewy and nice, so an uh, exfoliator with it wouldn't hurt you. I mean, you're supposed to eat it, but I don't think you want to eat this, but it's really, really good, so I recommend this to anyone, it's one of my favorites. And next I got the Mint Jaloop uh, Mask, and I didn't know my store had it. I was actually on YouTube yesterday, and I saw a couple people with it. So I was like, okay, yay. So it looks like this, and there's a bonus of 33% or more. And and when you open it, it's just has like a big tube. Um, it says to help helps dry up acne pimples and rinse away blackheads and shrink and large pores. This actually smells like spearmint gum, so I'm really excited. I love gum, so that's why I know what it sounds like, but I'm really excited to use this. This is going to be like, because you're supposed to leave it on for like 15 minutes, so I'm probably going to do this in the weekend, so I don't have to break out if I break out from it, but yes. Okay, so the next thing I have is um, a, a fragrance that I bought from Walgreens. By the way, I don't know if I stated that this is all Walgreens haul. Okay, yeah. So it's a sexy fan uh, fantasy, and it's in Japanese cherry blossom. It looks like this. It's in a black tube. I know there's like a glare, so. There we go. It's in a black tube, and it says new, only at Walgreens. And actually, it was either this one or, um, sorry, my screen. Or, uh, what do you call it? This or, it's called Love Struck, and I kind of have a love spell by Victoria's Secret Gardens, so I wanted to get this, and this smells so good, and I just love it. And it's good to stick in my bag because it's kind of slender, but it doesn't take up a lot of room like the Victoria's Secret do. So yeah. And on to the beauty products. The first thing I want to start off with the pretty beauty products was the um, ESO lip balm. I actually have the summer fruit one, but honestly, I feel like that one kind of smells like pee. I know it's really odd and weird, but I had a gum one time that kind of traumatized me that smelled and tasted like it. Yeah, I don't know what pee smells like, but anyways, ignore that. It was just. It didn't have good kind of effects on me, and I feel like it just wasn't something I could do. So I actually went out and purchased the lemon drop one. It's yellow. And I just opened it so you guys know. And um, this lip balm, lip, lip balm, I can't speak. Okay, excuse me. <sighs> okay, these lip balms are really, really good. They moisturize your lips completely. Like, I put this on and maybe put like a little bit of a lip, like, uh, healing cream on it and it's really really good this is like three something and it looks like this and this smells so good this reminds me of when I was a kid they sold these like um card candies for when you got sick or they just sold them at the store I don't know if they were sick candies or when you just wanted sugar candies and they're like these little lemon things and this smells just like it and it looks like a little easter egg as well but that's not the only reason I bought this. I heard really, really, I, I know from a fact that they're really, really good. So yeah, I just 
thought I shared that with you guys. The next thing I want to talk about are two different um, makeup uh, lip products. Um, these two things are actually on sale. One's CoverGirl, which was you buy one CoverGirl item and you get the, the next one for 50% off. So I bought a concealer, which I'll show you really quick. The True um, Concealer and I'm in shade 2. And it's just in here. I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to open it tomorrow when I use it. And then I got the um, CoverGirl's Nature Lux Lipstick. And this one's in 260 Heavenly beautiful color. I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you guys can see because it's really washed out, but yeah. It's really, really pretty. I'll, I'll show you what it guys. Show you what it guys. Show you guys. I really can't speak today. What it looks like. Right here is kind of the truer color. And I'll just watch it for you. And it's kind of a darker shade, but honestly, I'm in love with this. Like, I have such a hard time finding a really good pink color. It doesn't overbear and doesn't like wash me out and I really really like this so I'm really happy with this color so yes so happy it has a little bit of a more matte thank god goodness for this because I'm I'm starting to get sick of the really really sheer lipsticks because that's what my next one is but it's really really good um I'll explain what it is but honestly I'm just happy if I'm more of a matte it has a little bit of a sheer but it's not like it has extra sparkles and this and that and that Sometimes you just need more of a matte look. Okay, so the next one is from Rimmel London, which is 50% off. And it's an 070 Airy Fairy. I've had this, my mom's had this, and I was on YouTube yesterday, and all these people were just bringing up Airy Fairy, Airy Fairy, Airy Fairy. So I was like, you know what? It's 50% off, and I'm here, let me buy it. And I know I had tried it one time, and it's just really, really beautiful. Honestly, it's a nudish, uh, nudish pink color, and it is just so pretty. But the thing is, it's kind of sheer, uh, sheer as well. So I kind of have to wear something else over it if I want to go out. Maybe like a gloss so I don't feel like it's overbearing. But this is um, Airy Fairy right here. And it's really pretty. It's just like a nude. And I honestly think this is one of the best ones that are actually nude and the closest to my lip color. So yeah, I like this one as well. I'm very happy with it. The next thing I bought were um, two, uh, not Milani, they're dupes for Milani though. They're dupes for Milani. They're two Jordana Easy um, easy Liner for Eyes, and they're two bucks each. And it's compared to two bucks, they look exactly like um, Milani. And you can go purchase them at any local Walgreens. I know that's probably the only place that sells them. And they're the same quality, retractable, they last a really long time. I switch off between these and Easy Line, uh, Maybelline Easy Liner and Milani, depending on where I'm at. But honestly, I think these are just as, worth the same amount of money, and they work just as well. The next thing I purchased was a Rimmel London uh, eyeshadow. This was also 50% off. I am absolutely in love, in love, in love, in love with this. Like, you have no idea how in love with I am. And it's, there's two different names on here. It says Stirred Up Eyeshadow, and then there's 700 What's Up. So I don't exactly know which one is the real number, or that's probably the number 700 What's Up, and then the name is probably Stirred, stirred Up. And honestly, this is the most beautiful color I've ever seen. The shadow itself is great quality. It's very soft and pigmented. I'll show you the real kind of texture back here. You see it kind of like metallic. But it's copper and it has like pink um, speckles and copper speckles and glitter speckles. You see the speckles kind of in the... And it's the best pigmented color. That's from like one swatch. This thing could also be a dupe probably for MAC. I don't own any MAC, but I have a feeling that's going to be a dupe for it. And it is just beautiful. Like on my skin, it's even prettier. Nice swatch. That's only from like two swatches with my fingers. And look, there's still some on my finger. And this is the color on my hand. Like, it just, it's so much prettier in person. You would have to see it in person to really, but it is beautiful. Like, I'm in love and it's still on my finger. Like, that's amazing. On my finger and on my hand, all right there. Next, I got, I'm in love, in love with that. I just had to say that one more time. The perfect, actually the most absolute perfect um, product uh, blush for the spring slash summer. You can go into any season with this. I feel like this is the most reversible, neutral color you could ever do. And it's by um, Wet n Wild, and it's in pearlescent um, pink, 831E. That's the code right there. And then when you open it, this is like more of the true color right here. 
but it looks like this and it has undertones of gold speckles and it is so beautiful i'm gonna get a clean finger and swatch it for you guys this is what it looks like you can kind of see i'm gonna try to swatch it on my finger i mean on my finger my hand oh my god it is so beautiful you see that right there yeah but it is beautiful and I I think this is the most amazing I have like three different types of these and I have a bronzer by them they are so inexpensive the quality is so great so great and this ha does have I will admit it does have a lot of um, gold undertones so if you're more into a golder kind of bronze light hitting cheek because I feel like the light hits it really really pretty this is the perfect color for you and last but not least I purchased oh my hair is all messed back there okay anyways I purchased three simple color nail polishes. I bought two sparkle and one matte. The matte one is in Savage 950. And it's more of like a blue, a turquoise blue, but it's not as dark as my teal one that I said looks like the Miami Dolphins. So I'm really excited to use this. This is gonna be really a reversible spring and summer nail polish color. Um, the next one I got was frenzy and 922 and it's a purple and blue sparkles and i think it has some glitter i mean not sparkles um s glitter with um silver sparkles also glitter whatever you want to call it inside of it and you can kind of see it there but this is more of like the true it's not as dark as you're seeing on the screen but it's really really good and then last or not but not least, I my sister tried a Milani one, I think, like this. And I saw this one, and this one's Queen of Beauty in 923. And it looks like this. It's so beautiful. And I've used their glitter nail polishes before. Let me see if I can find you. Let me see if I can find you guys one really quick. Okay, like my green one right here. And I'll call you later, 932, this one. It's just like these. Always oh, drop something, and these go on so nice, like all the glitter, and it comes off so easily. So it's not like one of those nail polishes that get stuck on you. I know some of my nails are kind of chipped. Those are actually this little nail polish that I bought from the flea market. I suggest maybe going there and trying to buy little cheap ones, you know. But yeah, and so that's it, and it's just a little mini um haul, like I said. And I'm gonna probably do a review, like I said, like I love, love, love this lip color. And also, um, please comment, rate, subscribe if you guys like, if you guys want to purchase some items that are um, similar to these and leave a, a tag response video of your own on them. Or even to recommend me some products that you guys would like to see or even for me to try out myself. I will really, really appreciate that. So thank you all for watching and have a great, great, great day. Thank you.